subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get all notification hello students today we are going to start our new chapter which is how do organism reproduce in this chapter we will discuss about the reproduction its type and the detailed process of the reproduction also so before starting this chapter let's discuss what is reproduction sabse pehle hum baat kar lete hain ki actual mein reproduction hai kya kya process hoti hai kise hum reproduction bolte hain so let's start with the reproduction if somebody asks to you what is reproduction in normal language then what will you say you will say that reproduction is the process in which any living organism give birth to the their offspring or their next generation this process is known as reproduction normally agar hum baat karte hain reproduction ki to hum ye jante hain ki ye ek aisi process hai jisme koi bhi living organism apne hi tarah ke kisi dusre living organism ya apne offspring ko birth deta hai that process is known as reproduction but if we write the definition proper definition of the reproduction then we can say that is the process in which we can say that production of new organism this is the process which is the production of or the formation of new organism from the existing one of the same kind of species species ke liye humne yahan pe special word use kiya just write the definition first then we will discuss what is the definition of reproduction it's the production the production is the process in which we can say that it's the production of new organism organism from the existing existing organism of same species this is the proper definition of the reproduction that you can understand that this is the process in which any living organism give birth to new organism but it should be of same species यहाँ पे स्पीसीज सेम होनी बहुत जरूरी है लाइक यू नो दैट कैट रिप्रोड्यूस विद द कैट एंड दे गिव बर्थ टू द कैट कैट को ही बर्थ देगी इन द सेम वे डॉग रिप्रोड्यूस और इट ब्रीड ब्रीड विद डॉग एंड इट्स गिव बर्थ टू द डॉग आल्सो सो दे हेयर द स्पीसीज शुड बी सेम सेम टाइप की स्पीसीज होनी चाहिए जिनके बीच में ब्रीडिंग होती है रिप्रोडक्शन होता है एंड देन दे गिव बर्थ टू देयर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इस प्रोसेस के अंदर रिप्रोडक्शन के अंदर पेरेंट्स होते हैं the now the organism which is going to be give birth to the next organism that is known as parent we are calling it parent and the new generation which is going to be take birth that is known as offspring we are calling it offspring or we can use the word the like next generation or in some way that like daughter cells jab cells ke bare mein hum baat karte then we can say that daughter cell also so these are the words which we are related with this process that parents they do the reproduction and by reproduction they form their offsprings so offsprings means their next generation this is about the reproduction now in the previous chapter when we discussed about the life processes in this chapter we discussed that some life processes are very important for the survival of life like digestion respiration transportation and excretion but there we don't uh, we didn't discuss about the reproduction humne reproduction ke bare mein koi baat nahi ki because reproduction is not such a process which is required for the survival ki koi aisi process nahi hai jiske bina survival nahi ho sakta but still the organism do reproduction but phir bhi kar rahe hain organism reproduction kyun kar rahe hain why that this process is so important that why organism do reproduce kyunki reproduction ek aisi process hai jo survival ke liye zaruri nahi hai life ke liye zaruri nahi hai but still it has some importance so that's why the organism they are utilizing energy for the reproduction so let's discuss what is the importance of reproduction why organism do reproduction aisi kya importance hai is process ki kya importance hai reproduction ki so when we talk about the importance of reproduction we can say that in reproduction is very important for the essential or for the is very essential for the survival of a species on the earth so first point if you write that is it's essential essential for survival of species 
survival of species on the earth and it will write the another importance also that it ensure the continuity of life on earth it ensure continuity continuity of life now what does it means kya matlab hua in baaton ka एक सिंपल एग्जांपल से समझते हैं पहले हम सपोज एक ऑर्गेनिज्म है कोई एक एनिमल है उस एनिमल के अगर कुछ ही मेंबर्स अर्थ पे प्रेजेंट है एंड दे आफ्टर दैट दे डू नॉट डू एनी रिप्रोडक्शन मान लीजिए उसके कुछ पंद्रह बीस टाइप के एनिमल्स अर्थ पे प्रेजेंट है और अगर वो एनिमल्स आगे रिप्रोडक्शन नहीं करता सो इन दमिंग ईयर्स कुछ सालों के बाद हमें क्या वो एनिमल अर्थ पे मिलेगा नो बिकॉज Every living organism has a specific lifespan. After that, they have to die, and their place is to be replaced by, or we can say that they are replaced by some another organism. So, कुछ टाइम के बाद जब वो die हो जाएंगे, तो उस complete species का कोई भी existence earth पे नहीं रहेगा. We are not able to see such kind of animals onto the earth if they do not reproduce. So that is the way we can say that this process is very essential for maintaining the. सर्वाइवल ऑफ एनी स्पीसीज ऑन टू दर्थ ताकि उस स्पीसीज का सर्वाइवल बना रहे एक ऑर्गेनिज्म है सपोज वो एक या दो ही दूसरे नए ऑर्गेनिज्म को बर्थ दे रहा है और बाकी कहीं पर भी कोई रिप्रोडक्शन नहीं हो रहा तो कुछ टाइम में स्पीसीज ही पूरी कंप्लीट खत्म हो जाएगी अर्थ पे बट रिप्रोडक्शन एक ऐसी प्रोसेस है जिसके थ्रू हर एक लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दे आर गिविंग बर्थ टू देयर ऑर्गेनिज्म देयर ऑर्गेनिज्म अगेन दे बिकम एडल्ट and when they become adult they again they reproduce and again they give birth to their offspring so this is a complete uh, means um, ek ek pura ek flow mein chalta rehta hai ki har ek parent ke offspring hote hain wo offspring fir grow karte hain they become adult and again they give birth to their offspring is tarike se ek species ka survival earth ke upar bana rehta hai so this is the importance of reproduction second we can say that it ensure the continuity of life that is the same thing life life kab tak earth pe available hai jab tak sabhi species reproduction karte rahenge kyunki har kisi ek organism ka ek specific life span hai reproduction nahi hoga then one day the day will come that life is not exist on the earth so again reproduction has very important role to maintain the continuity of the life so the here we discuss about the types of reproduction so the importance of the reproduction now let's discuss the types of reproduction a reproduction this process this process has two types kis tarike se reproduction process ho rahi hai uske basis pe agar hum baat karte hain then reproduction process has two types the first that you already know is asexual reproduction the first type is asexual reproduction and second type of reproduction is sexual reproduction asexual reproduction a uh, means a means absence here a uh, sexual reproduction this is the type of reproduction in which any sex cells or germ cells are not involved means there is no gamete formation only single parent is able to give birth to their offspring ek hi organism chahiye ek hi parent chahiye jo bina kisi bhi tarike ke gametes formation ke ek new offspring ko agar birth de sakta hai such kind of reproduction is done as a sexual reproduction this is a very simple type of reproduction process besides agar hum baat karte hain sexual reproduction ki then this is the reproduction in which the two parents are involved is a sexual or sexual reproduction ko hum thoda aur detail mein discuss karte hain we you can be able to understand both these type of reproduction if we compare both of these two let's see what is the compare now let's see what are the differences between a sexual and sexual reproduction a sexual reproduction the first different that we can say that this is the reproduction in which only one parent is involved so we can say that one parent is involved as you know that one parent gives birth to the one organism that's why here only one parent is involved here in the sexual reproduction two parents are involved one male and another one will will be female so this type of reproduction here two parents two parents are involved involved male and female both type of second difference we we can say that here in this asexual reproduction no gamete formation process takes place gametes are not formed so gametes are not formed 
Now let's, let's see what are the gametes. Gametes are the germ cells or the sex cells which take part in the reproduction process. These are special cells that participate in the reproduction process. Mein participate karti hai. So these cells are not formed in the case of asexual reproduction. But in the case of sexual reproduction, the gamete formation, this process, this happen, gamete formation happen or gamete formation is done. Is done. Now, next difference, zygote. When gamete is not made, then in any way, the zygote formation is not made. So there is no zygote formation. We can write no zygote formation. You know, when these gametes, the male gamete, here two types of gametes are formed, male gamete and female gamete. When these two gametes fuse with each other, then the structure form, it is known as zygote. But in the case of asexual production, where male gametes are not forming, then zygote is also not formed. But in the case of sexual reproduction, where male and female gametes are formed, they fuse together and they form the zygote. So we can say that zygote formed. We have a zygote formation. Hai. Zygote is formed. Agar hum iske baat karte hai, that process, this asexual reproduction, this is the simple and fast process. It's a simple and fast process. Because there is no gamete formation, there is no zygote formation. Simple process is a parent hai, wahi reproduction may involve ho So this process happens very fast and it's very simple. But in the case of uh, sexual reproduction, we can say this process takes time. It's not as such simple. This is not simple and fast process. It's slow process. It takes time. It's a slow process. Now next, in the case of asexual reproduction, where only one parent is involved, the offsprings which are formed by asexual reproduction, they are exact copy of their parents. So we can say that in the case of asexual reproduction, the next offsprings which are forming, they are exact copy of their parents and these type of exact copies are known as clones. The parents ki exact copies, jo hoti hai, on exact copy ke liye hum word use karte hai, clones. So we can say that in the case of asexual reproduction, the clones are formed. Clones are formed. Clone formation hoonge, jo ki exactly same hoonge apne parents ke. But in the case of in the case of sexual reproduction, here, as two gametes are involved in the reproduction, they get fused. When two gametes are fused, they will have the exact characters of parents. Ke kuch nahi hoti. Dono hi parents, mother or father, dono parents ke character mix ho and there are chances of variations. Ke. Exact copies form nahi hoti. So we can say that clones are not forms. Not forms. Next difference, that is on the basis of same, we are talking about the clones. Now, variations. Variations means differences. Like, a parent hai, agar uske offspring exactly same hai, toh hain clone bol hai. But agar differences aate hai, then we use the word variations. Variations har jake present ho sakti hai. Variation parent aur unke bachcho ke beech mein ho sakti hai. Har ek parent ke bachche jo hote hai, offspring jo hote hai, wo exactly apne parents ke same nahi hote hai. Similarly, the siblings are also not same. This type of differences are known as variations. So we can say in the case of asexual reproduction, no chances of variations. Variations are not present. Is it the variations present? So we can say variations are very rare. Variations are very rare. But in the case of sexual reproduction, where the gametes get fused, chances of variations are very high. So we can say that variations are high. Yahan pe variations ke chances jo hote, bahut high hote hain. Variations are high. High variations are found. Now let's see where, which kind of organisms they favor the sexual reproduction and which kind of organism which favor the sexual reproduction. The organisms which are very simple, like in the case of unicellular organism, we can find this sexual reproduction in some multicellular organism which are very simple multicellular organism they also reproduce by asexual reproduction so we can say asexual reproduction found in lower organism it is found in lower organism the lower organism may present with the example of such organism we can take amoeba hydra paramecium or bacteria such kind of organism they reproduce by 
a sexual reproduction. Fungi also we can include in this category. Like sexual reproduction, if we talk about sexual reproduction happens into the multicellular organism or some I means plants, animals, they reproduce by the asexual reproduction. But some organism, they reproduce by both type of reproduction. They do reproduction by asexual as well as they also reproduce by the sexual reproduction. It depends on their environmental condition, on their, you know, I mean, behavior, which conditions are available, they can do it with their organism. Sexual or asexual, they can do both reproduction, which is better for their condition. According. So here we discuss the types of asexual and sexual reproduction. Now let's see what are the types of asexual reproduction. Because now we have to study both types of reproduction, asexual and sexual reproduction. In detail mein hai. We will start from the asexual reproduction. Now let's see what are the types of asexual reproduction. The first type of asexual reproduction. Actually many organisms which do asexual reproduction, they do by different ways. Every organism is sexual reproduction in a different way. On the basis of that, we are talking about types of types. What kind of types of organism will do sexual reproduction? These are taken under this category. This is the types of asexual reproduction. The first type is the fission. The first type of asexual reproduction is fission. Second, budding. After this, we can take third. Fragmentation Next type will be Regeneration Regeneration And the next type will be Spore formation And the sixth type is Vegetative propagation Vegetative propagation. Here we have written the six types of asexual reproduction. The first is fission, second budding, third one is fragmentation, then fourth regeneration, next fifth is spore formation, and sixth is the vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is special type of asexual reproduction which is found in plants. Plant me milne wala asexual reproduction. Now we have to study all these types of asexual reproduction. So these are the six types of asexual reproduction, and we have to study all these types of asexual reproduction in complete detail. And we will start with fission in our next video. So keep watching, keep studying, and keep learning. Thank you.